Yeah, so if you want to keep a truck from 1987 running this long, you got to take care of it and put the right things into it. Hey y'all, it's Riley Green. This is ACM Garage Talk presented by Lucas Oil. 1987 GMC Sierra Custom Deluxe. I bought it when I was 17 years old and uh, did a lot of work on it to get where it is now. I learned to drive in this truck. My granddaddy Buford showed me how to drive a stick shift. I, I think now that people don't really drive manual transmission vehicles anymore, so I feel like I'm a, it's a lost art, but I'm glad that that was something I learned on. And you know, it's an older vehicle like this is really, you can put your hands on it and really fix things yourself. So I learned a lot from driving a truck like that. When I started playing shows, obviously I drove myself to a lot of these venues and I had a couple of little speakers and a little mixing board I barely knew how to work and would literally just throw it in the back of the truck, drive to these shows, play, you know, all hours of the night, then drive home. And I think when, you know, it started to become five, six hour drives to get to these shows, it became a little less easy for me to get in this truck and go. So we eventually moved to a bus, but the truck definitely helped me get a start. We had an opportunity to play a big rodeo in Jackson, Mississippi, and it was a really bad ice storm. Uh, I remember getting a call that we weren't gonna be able to get our buses out to go to the show, so I just drove my truck to Nashville and picked up whoever in the crew could go at their house and some instruments, and we drove down there and played the show, and I think we made it almost back, and they called and asked if we could come back because somebody else had to cancel. So we went back and played the next night, too. That's a great example of my truck kind of you know, saving my butt, especially you know, on the road in a music career. It's crazy to think back of playing, you know, the Mexican restaurants in town and all the little bars and honky tonks around here. It's changed a lot. We played our first stadium show with Luke Combs this past weekend and how crazy it is to go from there to where I am now. But at the same time, it was so gradual and also didn't really feel like it was work. I hope I never have to drive this truck to a gig again. You know, we're playing all over the country now and sometimes out of the country. So it's it's a lot better, what I would call a Sunday truck now. It's earned the right to sit in the garage and be shined up and just kind of cruise around town when we got a little time. It's nice to have this little shop here. I can work on it and kind of keep it, keep it well maintained and keep it running and uh, take care of the truck that kind of took care of me and maybe listen to a little country music in here while I'm doing that. <laughs>